What's he got left? Two, three more fights? Maybe a half dozen at most. He took out Sully pretty good tonight, didn't he? Sully. A mediocre round ringer at best. And Rue barely handled him. Maybe you'd like to put your pretty boy Razor in the ring with Rue. I don't fight no round ring bullshit. Razor's gonna be heavyweight champ of the world. He's going places you two only dream about. If a goddamn bum with gloves on is champ of some bullshit association or another. Monkey dick. Hey, this is my goddamn club! This is where you carved out a living for ten years! Don't you forget that! You owe me, you little pissant! Well, I'm glad to hear you're in the mood to talk money, Napoleon. Because you're running a little short. Okay, Razor, Danny boy, take a hike, come on. So what's your problem, Tony? You're getting your cut. Well, my cut ain't what it used to be, see? Now, I'm taking a lot of heat letting you keep running this one-ring circus here. So, you better start coming up with some real bread, or I'm shutting you down. Fuck you. Cuff this idiot. Take him downtown. You don't know when to shut up, Napoleon. Sleazy little prick bastard like you could never shut me up. 
Well, maybe not. Maybe I can't, huh? Won't, but I'll sure as hell shut you down unless you start coming up with some serious bread, all right? I ain't giving you another penny. Not a goddamn penny more. Then you got no more circle fights. You ain't gonna stop me. I don't want to stop you. But I'll be watching. And any fight you got anywhere from here on in, I'm taking 50%. Huh? You got that? You don't give me nothing. I'm taking. Take this asshole out for a drive in the country and let him walk home. <laughs> For what, man? There you go. Come on, I know. I'll you that in. God damn money. Right. 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 Friend Singh, give me some food, Rue. I couldn't go home empty handed. Sorry about tonight, Rue. Napoleon promised me extra money if I beat you any way I could. He said to get a real kick out of seeing me. A bum, busy guy like you. I'm sorry. Look, take this. What the hell? You need this more than I do. Take it all. Thanks, Rue. Look, just look after those kids. Don't let them grow up to be like us. Right, Sully? Right? Right, Rue. Thanks. Come on, Rue, let's go! Get your old raggedy ass in the truck! Oh, come on, you guys. I made a little bread tonight. You know, fortune. Do you want? I'll give you half. Come on, you guys. Give us all of it, you scumbag. Come on, man. Relax. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's not enough. It's all I got, man. It's all I got. You better find some more real Give quick. Give me a break. Come on. What's going on here, Dad? Your old man's been borrowing money again, Charlie. You know better than to be lending him money. Hey, man. Business is business. Come on, Nicky. Clear out of here. Not tonight, Charlie. We're gonna get that money, or we're gonna teach that bum a lesson. If you want to hurt him, Nicky. You're gonna have to hurt me first. Gus always has these nice family get-togethers. Wonder why he never invites us. Maybe it's a good night, Charlie. Jealous or something, Ruth? He should have quit the circle years ago when he still had a brain lift. <laughs> he ain't nothing but a muscle-bound idiot. He's all right. He still wins a few fights. <laughs> I'm sorry about trying to throw the towel in, Rue. But you ain't as young as you used to be. I want you to promise me something. What? That you won't fight anymore. I'm serious, Rue. 
I don't want you to end up like Betty. I quit the circle. I ain't got nothing else. Hell, help me run this place. I'll give you a job. I don't know nothing about run the joint like this. I'll teach you. Look, everything's still in one piece. Promise me. Okay, I promise. <laughs> Congratulations, Rue. You made it out in one piece, more or less. Ah, you should fight more, not less. Sometimes less is more, Betty. <laughs> At least it was a safe bet. <laughs> Got a head like cement. Rue, go wash that stuff off your face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what's this crap I hear about you retiring? Hey, it was to my best draw. Come on, with all the bread you made fighting in my circle, you owe me at least one more shot. You made bread in every fight I did in the circle, Napa. I don't owe you nothing. I made money on you because I'm smart. Don't get on your high horse with me, Rue. Yeah, you were a pretty good draw, so what? It ain't like I need you. But guys like me and you, we don't quit. And you're just like me. I ain't nothing like you. No, maybe you're not. Maybe you're just a stumbling old bum that's too dumb to know when to hit the canvas. You think about that. Got a check to deliver? Well, I'll take the check. We're supposed to deliver it to Mr. Regan? I'm his receptionist. You can leave it with me. Well, no offense, ma'am, but this is my first day on the job, and well, I work for my friend Casper, and we run a gym, and this is the rent check, so. So I'll take the check. Well, you see, it's like this Casper said to be sure and give the check to Mr. Regan. Right, Batty? Wrong, Drew. You don't got to do anything. All you got to do is fight. We are warriors. You must show respect. I think you'd better leave or I will call the police. You see, Ru? Now we must fight. Ah! What's going on here, Jenny? These men are crazy. We got a check from Mr. Regan. Hi, Mr. Regan. Is there anything else? Well, yes, we'd like a receipt. You see, Casper said to make sure we got a receipt so he'd know you got the check. The check is your receipt. A check's a check. I mean, how can a check be a receipt? What's the problem, Mr. Reagan? There's no problem. Could you just please escort these gentlemen out, please? Thank hold you. it, hold it. Whoa, just a minute. All we want is a receipt. You want a receipt? Excuse me. You want a receipt? This is your receipt. Get him out of here. Ah, you dressed up coward! Oh, you bust up! Oh, come on, man! Get the hands off! Get them out of here! Oh. And you can just come tell your on, boss bust that bust the next time he has his check in here on the first of each month, not the 15th, and it better be certified.
Glad you could make it, Ken. Heard a lot about you. Heard you tore up the circles down south pretty good. Cut the crap, Napoleon. I'm the best anywhere. Ain't never been beat. That's why you want me. Hey, this is gonna be good for you too, you know. Right here's where the action is. Right here's where you can be making some good bread. Fighting for me. You make what you make. That's your business. You guaranteed me. You don't make the guarantee? That's my business. And I take care of my business. Real quick. Hey, no problem. You're the main man now, Kenneth. Rude, that old fool. He just couldn't hang on no more. Just when the action was getting hot, he folded. But don't worry. The money be stacked up so high you won't be able to even count it. Yes, sir. I got Razor now. Starting to pay off for me. It's about time with all the fucking bread I got invested in him. But you and him, I got the world by the balls. Yeah. Who needs room? Not me. Jones has cracked the top ten, but it still remains to be seen as to whether or not he has the talent to contend for the title. We'll find out next month when he meets Spider Washington, ranked number six. What you doing, man? I don't know, Richard. Maybe I'm just wasting my time. Slam the hood on my hand. Let me look at it. That's just slammed it pretty hard. I'll live. So you going to Razor's fight? Nah. I'm not really a big fan of Razor's. Can't blame you. I'll watch it on TV after I finish training with the kids. I gotta go to toilets. I'm doing mufflers. See you later. How you doing, white boy? Looks like you're doing a real good job there. You missed a spot. On the house.
Well, you're gonna have to buy some decent to fight Cannon. Uh, nobody decent wants to fight bare fisted anymore. Hey, you're bully. Hey, what are you doing in my club? Just checking out your action. What is? I remember you used to laugh at my fights. Well, you know what, Napoleon? They're betting at my fights. Yeah, you think you got a fighter that's any good? Send him down to me. I'll make us both some money. I wouldn't send shit down to you. I'll see you later, Napoleon. Something, Dad? Huh? Nothing. Some old invoices. You looking for this? Come on, Charlie. I'm just going down to Naps Club for a little bit. No big deal. No big deal when you win. Big deal when you don't. Give me a break, Charlie. I ain't hurting nobody. You give me a break. You can't lose the goddamn money we make fast enough. It's not like we make a whole hell of a lot. Charlie, it's just as much my money as it is yours. Yeah, it's your money, too. That's why you shouldn't be going down to Napoleon's place. You've been losing there for years. Yeah. Once in a while, I win. You win a little, and you lose a lot. Now you're gonna lose me. I bust my hump in here. The life I got is shit. You know, I've been covering your ass for years. Give me a chance to get something together. Get the hell out of this miserable rat hole. Well, I still got some life in me. Okay, baby, okay. I'm sorry, miss. I'm gonna take the money down there tonight. Pay him off what I owe. That's it. No more. I don't want to hurt you no more. How much do we owe him? Never you mind. I'm gonna go down there, pay him off. Okay? Okay. 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 And it's my girl. You okay, Charlie? You really been hitting that heavy bag a lot lately. You almost like hitting it. So how's the job? Not so good. Why are you doing it? Gasper's trying to teach me about business, but I don't learn so good. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Join the team. You've been hitting pretty good lately. I've been watching you. Yeah? You think so? Think I can take you yet? Depends how you move in the ring. I've never been in the ring room. All the time you've been coming here punching the heavy bag and you ain't never been in the ring. How about you and I go in and, and I'll teach you some moves? Nah, I don't think so. Come on, Charlie. Go on, Charlie. I ain't gonna bite. Charlie, come on. Now, 
you throw a few punches with me. Come on. Come on. Up on your toes. Up on your toes. Now, round the circle. Come on, Charlie. That's it. Harder. Come on, that's it. That's it. Now, it ain't no good knowing all the punches if you're going to get caught flat-footed. Now, come on. That's it. That's a girl. Yeah. You ain't never been in the ring. Hey, you're a natural talent. That's it, Charlie. Come on. Faster. Faster. Round. Round. That's a girl. Jab. Jab. Come on. Now, go for the big one. Go for the big one. Come on. You're hurting me. You're hurting me, Rue. But I like you too, Ru. I ain't nothing but trouble. It's all right. Tell you what. How about we go for a walk? If you don't want to talk about nothing, that's all right. We'll just go for a walk. You and me. Come on. I've got some stuff to do. Come with me. How about it? Come on. Hell of a place to go for a walk, Charlie. Ain't nothing but a lot of junk lying around. Ah, uh, you never know what you're gonna find. Sometimes old stuff is the best stuff. Like you, Ruth. Maybe they ought to bury me here. There's a spot for you. Hmm. No, thanks. The starter motor looks pretty good. Yeah? How can you tell? The brushes are clean. How long you been a mechanic, Charlie? Long time. Gus used to bring me down to the garage when I was just a kid. Set that stuff down over there. We'll pick it up later. Charlie, you like being a mechanic? Yeah, it beats punching clocks. Guess it beats punching heads, too. Rue, don't pick it. I was going to give it to you. Oh, uh, let it be. Come on, let's go. Now i got to go to a flower shop and spend two bucks. To expend it. Hey, that's a lot of bread for a guy to clean that locker room. Hey, stick with me. I'll teach you how to fix cars. So, I'm driving along in my limo, and I look out the window, and who do I see? I see Rue with a girl. Who could it be? 
So I see you're taking out Charlie these days, huh? So what? Well, that gets me wondering. I mean, I know you guys probably, you know. Does Charlie have a dick or what, man? <laughs> With or without a dick, I'm still more man than you. Better teach you a bitch to watch your mouth, man. Let's move up, man. Get out of here. Crabs. Shit. Hey, Danny boy. Cash me a check. Gus. Gus. We got a little problem here, Gus. You know what that problem is? That check you gave me last week. The one to cover that long, outstanding balance you got with us. It bounced. The check was no fucking good. Ah, uh, come on, Mr. Napoleon. How it It's time to pay the piper, fella. You're a mechanic or something. Aren't you, Gus? Yeah, that's right. Fingers will be pretty important to a guy like you, wouldn't you say? One finger, Gus. One finger every week you don't pay. Uh, it's gotta be some sights this. Sorry, Gus. One finger. One finger every week you don't pay, Gus. Whatever you want, I'll do it. Buddy Gus owes us big. But he don't have no bread to give us at the moment. So I worked out a little deal. You fight Cannon in a circle, and Gus gets to keep his fingers. The debt is clear. Whatever makes you happy, Napoleon. What makes you happy? The crowds cheering, calling out your name. Maybe you miss being punched in the head. What is it, Rue? Still paying for your sins? Hey, why are you leaning on me here, Tony? What's the big deal? You don't squeeze nobody else in the neighborhood that hard. 30%, 35%, that's it. Now you give me 50%. What, what can I do here? Listen to me. You want this fight to happen? It goes down my way or not at all. All right? 50%. That's what I'm taking. Don't think about pulling Come any on. fast ones. Come on. That Go. fight goes on, down, man. I'll hold back. Come on. You can call me Spinks, but what really counts what the people think? They know I'm fast and they know I'm sly. They know I'm number one and that's no lie. Yeah! Damn it, if I wanted a comic, I would order one. You're supposed to be a fighter, that's a kind of jerk off. I quit your bitching, Razor. I say when and I say who. And I'll damn well say how much. I don't want to hear no talk about my game plan You're for you. You're fucked up, you know that? Watch my pants. You don't cut it where I'm going. I got a chance to get me some good management, slick lawyers, and smart money. Guys, it can take me somewhere. I can take you someplace. I just need a little time here, for Christ's sakes. I can get you major fights, Razor. 
God damn it, it means more to me than you. It's big dollars for both of us. You are so well in fights, man. Did I ever ask you to fight in a circle? Not once. Not once. Now you get your ass back in the gym and keep your hands working and your mouth shut. Come on, buddy. Hit me, you little whip. Hit me. Hit me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Punch. 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 Why the hell are you doing this? There's other ways to cover the debt. You know that. Maybe this is the way I want to do it. What's wrong with you? You ain't been training, you ain't been fighting. Don't matter. You're sliding backwards. Don't fall back in that crap. You're learning something now. What am I learning? How to clean toilets. How to fill a pump machine. For Christ's sake, Rue, give it a chance. You can't keep kicking around the circle. You want to end up like fucking Batty? He's a scrambled egg. If you give it half a chance, you can be a decent human being instead of some goddamn old punching bag for Napoleon. Hit me, Casper. Hit me. Hit me, Casper. Hit me. That's what I do well. That's all I do well. It ain't much, pal, but it's all I've got.
Oh, you look at you. Oh, Jesus. Next week he's gonna come you had to do it, didn't you, Napoleon? That's gotta be paid, little man. Bullshit. There were other ways to get the money. Hey, he wanted to fight. <laughs> Fucking Condit. What was it, Napoleon? You need him to bring the action in? Or did he just bug you too much that he wouldn't be one of your fucky fighters? He never should have been fighting for you. He should have been fighting for me. You never did nothing for him, so take him away from me. Bullshit. He walked on you because your fucking sleaze plays make him want to puke. You used him. You're still using him, you fucking slime. Wasted his life fighting in a circle because he fucking listened to you. Oh. Oh. You had to wait till he got old and worn down to beat him. We beat you, Napoleon. You son of a bitch, we beat you. What the hell are you doing, man? You have to take the guy like that. Good. Big man, Napoleon. Big fucking man. I'm one big fucking man. You stay down and you shut up. You threw warning anybody, Napoleon. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! You him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get This is the last time you're gonna see it. See, you and I are through. You got what you wanted, and now it's over. No more payoffs. Well, the only way there's gonna be no more payments is for you to pack in your circle fights. I don't think you're about to do that. Yeah, well, I got a new score, Tony. Razor's starting to make real money for me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I mean, Rue's good action. People like betting on his fights. Yeah, well, uh, he don't want to fight no more. Didn't he have some trouble a few years back? I mean, it'd be easy for me to put some pressure on him. Throw him to Tall Tim for a few fights, then a rematch with Cannon. We could make a killing. Hey, we could be partners. That's funny. Me, partners. With a scumball cop like you, that's funny. <laughs> you let me know if you change your mind, huh? Hey, man. 
Maxie. You know that son of a bitch Tony walked in here today. He said he wanted to be partners with him. Hey, you still pick us now. Yeah, this sickle game's gonna be a racket. We're losing big on it. It's a good thing we got legit stuff going on with Razor, eh? Mr. Boyd! Mr. Boyd! Mr. Boyd! Ra Razor! Razor just told me to clean out his locker. He's going to leave you, Mr. Napoleon. I, I, told, you, I, I told him I wouldn't clean it up because you know, I figured he'd kill me if I cleaned out the locker, you know? Hey, because, you Razor's going to walk on you, Mr. Napoleon. I told him. No, I'm not going to clean out no locker. You don't leave until I say so. What you say don't mean shit no more. I got guys looking after me that are a hell of a lot heavier than you. You're getting in deep here. Listen up, Jack. One fucking peep out of you and my guys will have you nailed to your office door. Hey. Razor. It's me. This is me, Napa. Hey, we've been a long time together, man. Who put the clothes on your back? Who put the money in your pocket? We go back. What about that, huh? Don't! Don't run game on me, Napa. I was your main meal ticket. Cannon and Rue were your last big score, and Rue ain't gonna fight for you no more. And now you don't got me. You're gonna have to find yourself a new con. Razor with a right. Mitchell's in trouble. He's cut. He ties up Razor, trying for a breather. He really needs time right now. Razor's handling Mitchell like the guy's nothing at all up there. Now, this is a big surprise to me. It looks like the fight will be knocked him on the distance, but I'll tell you, Razor really seems to have taken off since he left Napoleon, his former manager. There's a good right back combination by Razor. Razor has to sign the mark. Mitchell counters sloppily. Razor blocks it, and oh, Razor teed off on that one. Mitchell's going down. What the hell are you doing here, Napa? Paying my respects. I'm real sorry, Gaspar. Things got out of hand. Just should never happen. I'm sorry. Rue, I gotta talk to you a minute. Hang in there, pal. What do you want, Napa? Tony's trying to put a lot of pressure on. He struck gold when you fought Cannon. He wants more of your action rule. Forget it, Napa. Hey, Tony's holding all the cards on this one. He's talking about throwing your ass back in the loony bin. Why would he want to do that? Oh, come on, Rue, grow up. It's just business. Dr. Wilson, Why don't you take a couple boats with Tall Tim for me? And maybe a rematch with Cannon. That ought to keep him happy. I don't care about Tunny. Maybe I don't want to fight no more. Hey, Rue, what's it like living in padded cells? What's he talking about? Nothing. Where are we going? 
fishing. My first job in this country was right here on the docks. One day I got in a scrap with a guy next to me. Beat the hell out of him. So he says to me, you're wasting your time on the docks. He took me on the road as a fighter. That guy was Napoleon. One night before a fight, I think we were in Ohio. Napoleon comes up to me and asks me to throw the fight. You know, he said it'd be good for us. We'd get more money, better fight. Did you throw it? Yeah. Badly. There was a complaint lodged and the commission, they cancelled my license for a year. They wouldn't let me fight anymore. What'd you do? Oh, I started drinking, feeling sorry for myself. Then one night in a bar, got in a fight with a couple of blokes and they pulled knives on me. I guess I went a little crazy. One guy ended up in the hospital and other guy ended up in the morgue. What happened to you? Court said I was criminally insane. Guess I might have been at the time. But after eight years of padded cells and fucking shock therapy, I wasn't crazy when I went in. I sure as hell was when I came out. What'd you do when you got up? Not much. Bummed around. Nothing seemed to work for me, and then I met up with Napoleon again. He offered me a job. Lighting in the circle. So how does Tunny figure in? Tunny takes a piece of Napoleon's action. Tunny says if I don't do it, he's going to have the state throw my ass straight back into the loony bin. He could do that? I don't know. But I sure as hell don't want to bet against it. Guys, they're just like you. Big, strong, no fucking brains. <laughs> you know what to say, eh? Huh? No brain, no pain. Yo, where's your fight? She's your fighter? Where's your goddamn circle, man? Oh, that's that. So, Batty, listen, I'm getting too old for this shit. Better than getting thrown out from that smart lawyer's office or cleaning somebody's locker. You've got a challenge now, Rue. Yeah, yeah, I got a challenge. Men can't be a man without a challenge. Batty, there are better ways to prove you're a man than by bashing someone's head open. Sounds like you've been talking to that girl too much, Rue. That's no warrior's talk. Buddy, we are not warriors. I mean, we're just two old fight bums. We're too stupid to make a living any other way. I mean, all that shit and talk about warriors, that was to make us feel better. I mean, take a look at us. 
We're both just old fight bums. Don't listen to that, Drew. We are warriors. We are born in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all. Yeah. Okay, Betty. We're both warriors. All right, big fight. Make room, guys. Let's go. Hey, Jack. Somebody on the dock. Let's go. Hey, Pete, how's your leg, man? Hey, we're back. Rude. I want you to meet Patch, the sea creature. <laughs> He's got a bit of a handicap, only one hand. <laughs> so this is gonna kind of like even the odds, would you say? <laughs> I'm gonna stick this stuff okay. right up my ass. Down in the boat! Let's go! Let's get this fight off! <laughs> Like the cows. Am I taking care of you? Wow, look who just slid in under the door. Yeah, I've been making pretty good bread off those funky fights that all dim lined up for a Thanks to you. Thanks to me. Yeah, without you screwing up in the first place, none of that good bread would have had a chance of cropping up. Let me buy you a shave. You're a real piece of shit. The last thing Rue needs you. You know, the funny thing is, I actually like Rue, crazy bastard that he is. Why shouldn't you like him? The bread you're making off him? You find some balls or something all of a sudden, Gus? You fucking sleaze. Hey! I may be a sleaze, but at least I don't pretend to be something else. Not like that detective cop bastard, Tunny. Coming on like he's a decent citizen and putting the squeeze on me and everybody else in the neighborhood for half the action. Oh, yeah. You know something else, too, Gus? You want to know who got Rue fighting again, whose idea it was? It was Tunny. So you want to hate somebody, hate him. You didn't have to go along with him. No? Well, I had a cash flow problem. Or have you forgotten already? But stick around. This next fight's going to be a real treat for Rue. What kind of treat? You'll see soon enough. See you later, Gussie boy. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, real nice surprise for you tonight. Look up there. Hey! No way. I can't fight you, buddy. Hey, my friend, you. My only friend. I know. That's why I can't fight you. No, Ru! That boy must fight me! This is my last time. Tonight I'll be free. Show me respect! Fight me! Show me you love me! Hey, hey Ruben! The guy loves you! We can do for you! Or fuck him! Crazy bastard! <laughs>
Daddy's dead. This ain't gonna help him. Wait here. You should have seen the fucking guy. He jumped off the top of the building. <laughs> what about the heat? No heat. No one anywhere? No, I took off. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, that's insane. He just fucking... You! You owe me. I owe you nothing, real. They should have fined the wacko for littering the streets. <laughs> Sonny, side up on the sidewalk, eh, bro? He bounced. <laughs> bounced. Charlie. You want to die? Don't let me stop you. Because I know why you're up here. You've taken so much shit you just can't stand it anymore. No. No. That's not it, Charlie. No one's to blame. It's me. I don't deserve to live. I hurt people, Charlie, Casper, Batty. I killed Batty, Charlie. No. It's true. I'm crazy. They were right. I'm the geek. You know, the geek in the sideshow what chews off chickens' heads? Yeah, I'm the crazy bastard in the cage. You're out of the cage. Yeah, I'm out of the cage. I could be right out. Everything that ever meant anything to me is gone. Except you, Charlie. And I don't want to be around to hurt you. Then fight him again. What? You gotta walk away, but on your own terms. Fight him again. Beat him. Beat all those leeches at their own game. Then walk. We'll start a new life together. You and I. You ain't crazy, Rue. We can do it. You want him? Yeah, I want him. 
gun. You're just like me, Ru. You walk away from this, and you're just another square fucking nobody. But here, we were both kings. You got a whole lot of that for everything you can squeeze out of it. Because that's all you got. Listen, cut the crap. I got my own reasons for taking this fight, Napa. No, you listen. Nobody screws me over. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be weaving baskets in the wacko farm. I got you started again. But you went and fucked off with Casper. You should have been fighting for me, Rue. All these years, you should have been fighting for me. Well, I want them all back. Every single fucking day. tell me that you've been fighting again that you've been letting napoleon pimp you that you're gonna get it on with cannon again <coughs> well go on tell me go on Ruth. get out of here go on do what you got to do Glad you and your friends could make it down. Drinks on the house for everybody. Hey, listen, kid. You and I might have had our differences, but all that's water under the bridge. Hey, you got a good ranking now. I can see you're going all the way. Both this new management, I don't blame you. Hey, business is business. Straight up. Congratulations, kid. Have a good time. There's nothing here! So where the hell is it? We'll find it, okay? We'll find it. You're goddamn right we'll find it. <laughs>
hell's going on here? The Napoleon says you ain't going in tonight. Like hell and not. Not tonight. <laughs> what makes you happy, eh, bro? Makes you feel a little less crazy, don't it? Beating a man half to death. I ain't crazy, never. You think this proves you're something other than what you are? A pathetic, washed-up, never-was-anything old bum. Yeah, I know, Ru. You didn't make it because you never had a chance. The same bullshit smokescreen that every other dumb fuck failure out there uses. No, Ru. You're nothing because you're nothing. I beat everyone you threw at me, never. They were all bums! Then give me someone! I'll take on anyone! I'll fight him right now! Razor! Get in here. Show this bum what it takes to be a real boxer. I never fought this, uh, circle crap. And I ain't about to start now. Look at this beat up old man. He's barely standing. Get in here. Give him some boxing lessons. Come on, go for it. What's the matter, Razor? You chicken to fight without the gloves on? Nobody shakes me, man. Who does, you bastard? Napoleon's right. Where's your balls? What's wrong with you? Hey, you I'll kill you. What the hell, man? Show these fucks who you are. Fight the dude. If he finish in a minute. Get the shit over with and let's go party! You want it? Yeah. You want it? Yeah. You got it! Get the brand's fresh, baby. I'll be right back. Somebody bring me a pair of boxing boots! <laughs> Where's my fucking end, Napoleon? <laughs> Maxie's got your end. Come and get it, sucker! <laughs> Son of a bitch. No ref, no rounds. Last man standing wins. You're a nightmare, Rue! Look at you. You're a middle-aged old man, and you're still fighting this circle crap. And what you got to show for it? I ain't never gonna be like you, Rue. Come on, Rue. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna punish you for being such a fool.
Like that? You want some more? You like that room, huh? You want some more? Come on. I can dance all night. Let's see. Never been cut before? He's hardly been hit before. Half his damn fights I fixed myself. What's the matter? Those new people aren't taking care of the fights? Ah, who gives a shit? You don't fight for me no more. Hell, he's fighting for you now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't see nobody muscling him into the ring. Yo, open the cage, man! Yo, who's there, Napoleon? Ah, shake me some more, little man. Now, Rue, 